Good day YouTube, welcome back to my neck of the woods. My name is Dika, where I share my experience and my knowledge hoping to lessen your learning curve along the way. So today I have another controversial subject that I want to talk about. And it's whether or not is it okay to shoot young deer, harvest young deer, whatever term you want to use, kill young deer, as opposed to these big giant bucks that's a, quite a trend in uh, this country. So before I get started, please subscribe to my page like my videos and uh, make some comments. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, if you like product reviews, controversial subjects, hunting and fishing videos, please subscribe because that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a lot of that. So today, is it okay to shoot young deer? I personally don't have a problem with it, but it seems as though a lot of people in this country do have a problem with it. And it comes down to morals and values and ethics and how everyone, it's different from person to person. It depends how you're raised. It depends um, how you were brought up and how you were introduced to hunting. So there's a lot of variables that come into play. And then sometimes people put the same two words, I call it like an oxymoron. They'll put, uh, it, it's, it's unethical to shoot young deer. Or sometimes they'll say it's unethical to kill young deer. So unethical and then killing in the same sentence or the same breath is it's really strange to me. So I'm going to give you my opinion and then obviously I did some research and then um, found out some other facts about what happens to um, the herd or the environment when we do kill young deer. So like I said, I personally do not have a problem with it. I do it myself. But there's something that I don't do all the time is when I shoot a button buck or a young doe, I don't really share it with people because it's almost like fear of being ridiculed. Uh, so like I, I, I don't post this on, on social media, you know, because uh, if you post it on, a, on a, like a bow hunting site or a, a whitetail hunting site, there's going to be a good amount of people that strongly agree with, uh, disagree with you. And then the, the whole place will just jump on the bandwagon because it's very easy to ridicule someone with words and not to their face. So what I have to say about it is that me personally, all deer you should be proud of if you're a deer hunter. If you put in the work and you're following the laws and you're out there and it, it's ultimately a pastime and for most hunters it's a way of life. It, it You have to take take into consideration that we all come from different backgrounds. There's a lot of people that trophy hunt, which I, I personally disagree with, but that, that doesn't mean that I'm wrong or I'm right. I just personally disagree with it, and I'm certainly not going to ridicule someone for it. Um, and then there's uh, people that need, need the food. They need it for food. They, they get their tags every year, and they're going to fill those tags with any opportunity that they can, whether it's a big deer or a small deer. Uh, I, would, I would assume that they hope for big deer because it gives, you, gives them more food. And then there's people out there, it's their first time hunting, and if they shoot a small deer, sometimes they get away with it. You know, but other times they'll, they could still be ridiculed for it, um, it, especially if they're a first time hunter and they're an adult. It, it, it's funny the way things work. You know, if you're a kid, or if you're disabled, you know, and you get your first deer and it's, it's still got spots on it, everyone on that site or anyone is going to congratulate that person and say, good job, you know, just welcome to the addiction or what, whatever it is. You know, but if you're an adult, if you're, a, I'm 46, if you're a 46-year-old adult, you know, and I shoot something with spots on it and it's my first deer, there's going to be a lot of people that have a problem with that, which I don't understand. It, you know, hunting... Every deer to me is a trophy. Now, granted, I eat it and I use everything that I can with that deer, everything that I possibly can. Like even the leftover, I, I wrap in bags and I give it to people that um, uh, here we're in Massachusetts. And I don't know if this is a, a trend across the country. Uh, a lot of people feed their, uh, their animals or their dogs raw. So I give all the organ meat and everything to people like that and they use, they use it all. So what you need to do and in, in order to shoot young deer, there's some, there's some variables in play. And I think that sometimes 
maybe it's not okay, but I still think it is. So you got to know your woods and you have to know your herd. You have to know what type of deer are in your woods. Are there a lot of does? Are there a lot of young deer? Are there a lot of bucks? You know, ultimately, a lot of us were conservationists first and then we're hunters second. That's what, that's what I believe. Um, a lot of the hunters that I know, you know, they really care about the environment when they go out there. They're picking up trash or um, clearing trails or whatever it is that they can to sort of help the woods, so to speak. And they're conservationists first. So you got to know the herd. Um, some people, like I said, they have no choice. They have no choice in what they're doing as far as young deer or old deer. And I think that those people need to be given a break. I think we as hunters, we need to come together and we need to support each other in hunting. There's less and less hunters every year. I don't know if you know that. Across the country, uh, per capita, there's less and less hunters every year. And I don't know why. It, 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 like archery is a growing sport, but hunting is not. So there's less and less people out there hunting, although in Massachusetts it doesn't seem that way. So I'm going to do a little demonstration here, and you'll see uh, some of you that are watching, your opinion may change about me in, um, in a matter of moments. So we see the, the skull that up here, you know, if I have a skull like that, or if I shoot a deer like that, and I post it on social media, no one's going to have a problem with it. Not at all. So say I take... Got a pile of skulls over here. So say I take this one right here, right? This deer. I posted this somewhere. No one, no one's really going to have a problem with that for, for any reason. You know, I, I, I wonder sometimes, whatever happened to the strong survive? You know, um, you know these, these deer, the reason for taking a, a big buck or a mature deer is because it's lived its life and it's going to be closer to death as opposed to um, having many, many years to live. You know, this one probably had a lot of years to live. This, this was uh, probably three, four years old. So, but, so we, have that, we have that one, right? My, your opinion of me isn't gonna change based on you knowing that I killed that deer, right? So what about, um, what about this one? It might. It's a much younger deer than this one. And um, it, it might change with that one, you know. Then, um, all right, what about this one? That was a mature doe. A lot of big buck hunters or trophy hunters, they don't shoot does for whatever reason. It, 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 it's foreign to me, and I don't understand why. And obviously, I invite anyone to chime in on this discussion and put something in the comments as to if, if you are a trophy hunter or if you are a big buck hunter uh, exclusively um let me know why you know and um or, or why you are so against people shooting young deer is it because that they're young i mean because the young ones taste good you know a lot of it goes back to your herd and what kind of woods that you have too so before i go on to my next skulls i i just want to let you know that so, I don't know if you know this, but according to experts, if, if deer are underpopulated in an area, experts, I'm talking fish and wildlife people, conservationist people, they recommend that you shoot the young deer, not the older deer. They recommend the young ones, especially the young does. Now, experts say that the young does, when they're, when they're bred, um, they are going to produce, on, on, on an average, they produce one fawn. And it's usually a buck. It's usually a button buck. Now, this is something I didn't know. I did some research before I did this video. And then the theory is, if you leave the older does, three years and up, they will produce one to three offspring. You know, and they're usually fawns. So a, a young deer, I, I believe... A, I believe a doe has to be two in order to be bred. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure on that, so don't quote me. Maybe they can be bred uh, on their first year, which I, I think they can, because I, I think I've seen rut action where uh, yearlings have been bred. But they will produce one, always one on their first, you know, and it's usually a button buck. If they're, 
two years or younger. You know, so there, there's some things to be said. Like a lot of people say, well, you know, there's not a lot of deer in my woods and I'm only going to shoot the mature ones. According to experts, they say you should shoot the young ones and leave the mature ones with these big mature genes to produce and they're going to produce more offspring. All right, so more skulls here. So your opinion changed in me if I, if I shot this doe. That doe tasted really, really good. You know? What about this one? You know, that's a button buck. Probably the same age as this one. You know, I was probably born the year before. There's no, there's no reason why hunters across the world or in, in this country or the state that I'm in can't shoot deer like this without being ridiculed. There's no, there's no science out there that says it's bad to do it. Because a lot of people say, well, populations are low. Experts say to shoot these ones when populations are low. They say not to shoot these ones. So that's food for thought. And then I got one more skull. A lot of people have a problem with this one too. You know, a lot of people gave me a hard time for shooting a spike. You know, but I, I wouldn't. I think I shared this one on social media. You know, but some people had some problems with it, but I don't understand why. Like I said, I encourage you to um, chime in and let me know. You know, so those are the skulls that I have. I'm curious to know if anyone's opinion changed about me. You know, if I, I mean, if if I just had this one. And that one up there, someone will say, oh, well, you know, he shoots mature deer. But how come a, um, how come a doe, a mature doe, is not a trophy like this is? It doesn't make sense. I mean, uh, th th this deer was almost as big as this deer. You know? So food for thought. Take it as you will. So uh, back to shooting young deer. I think it's fine. And I think it's fine as long as you're following the following, me, following the laws, and you're respecting other hunters. I really think hunters need to stick together. I mean, there's so many, so many people just trying to put hunters down, you know. And so there's there's um, some facts out there that um, there. I, I wanted to read a quote from a a man that I think I, I look up to as a hunter. He, I think he's the epitome of what. What I would love to be as a hunter if I if I could do it full time. His name is Steve Ranella, and if you've never heard of him, I encourage you to look him up. He's um, he has a show on Netflix called Meat Eater, and like I said, he's the he's the epitome of what hunting should be, and he's highly educated when it comes to it too. You know, all of us as hunters, we're always educating ourselves, and I I, I think that um, there I wrote down the quote, and I wanted to read it to you folks. So it's by. It's on big buck hunting, and he, he does a, um, he wrote a journal on big buck hunting and whether it's okay to shoot young deer. And what he says on big buck hunting, he says, it's a troubling trend in the hunting community that was mostly absent a generation ago. Which means pe people who hunted, they just went out and they hunted. And whatever came by, came by, and they shot it, and they ate it, and they filled the freezer with it. And obviously, people like the trophies, don't get me wrong. You like them. But, you know, a lot of people I know that shoot big bucks and you see them on social media, they shoot the small ones too, but they just don't, they just don't advertise it. And that's just the people I know. That's just my circle. That I know. So anyway, he goes on to say that the, because uh, there's a lot of restrictions in some states too, where they only allow you to shoot big bucks and then there's like, there's a, there's a restriction on antlers, uh, how they score. So he says that uh, states with antler restrictions see substantial drop in hunters yearly because they find it, it, it's difficult for the new hunters to come in and gain some confidence because, I mean, as we know, it's more difficult to find, track, um, pattern a deer like this than it is a deer like this. You know, this deer may give a new hunter the opportunity to maybe someday get this. You know, even, even myself. So, I mean, I started off 
just hunting and, and doing everything, following the laws and kind of shooting everything that came by for the most part. You know, and now I let some pass. Uh, based on size, sometimes it's distance. You know, I kind of was not mature as a hunter. And now I have someone sort of mentoring me where I want to be the student and I want to maybe get a couple of these on purpose. These, these, these were on accident. You know, so I, I, I wasn't targeting it on purpose. And that's just a personal goal as a hunter. You know, so I, I'm not against hunting mature deer. I'm just cur curious as to why people are so against hunting, killing young deer. All right? That's all I have for you. I think as hunters, we need to stick together. And we need to support each other as hunters because there's so many anti-hunters. And according to statistics, there's less and less of us. We want more people into the sport, pastime, way of life. All right? Be well. Please subscribe to my page, like my videos, and make some comments. Till next time, I'll see you guys later. Be well.